Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Bookshelves and Beyond. And yes, it's the same day and I'm back on the floor again with my Luma Crate boxes. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing the exact same clothing as the last video and also why I am in the exact same position as the last video, it's because I am, it's literally two seconds after I've finished filming the other, the other video. So that's why. It's not the next day. I'm not wearing old clothing or anything like that. Anyway, today we have a Luma Crate. So we've got the Luma Crate box, which is the only one they do. It's young adult. I believe it's only young adult. I don't think they include adult in them, but it's young adult. And they include loads of bits and goodies in there as well. And then we've also got a Luma Crate Afterlight box which I finally got a green one. The last couple of times I didn't get a green one. I got the yellow Illumina Crate box, which is a romance subscription. Currently, as I am speaking, it is a bi-monthly subscription where you get two additional items. However, from January, so from January 2024, they will be doing, they'll be changing them to monthly and they won't include any items. So they'll just be the book only. The only thing that irks me about that is that they're keeping it at the same price so i think from memory it's about 20 pounds for the afterlight box and you get two extra items however they're making it now a monthly box which i've not got a problem with that's perfectly fine i love romance anyway but it's the same price they didn't reduce it at all even though they're taking out items i don't know it irks me somewhat because it just means that i don't really have i'm not really feeling the benefit plus the last books that we've had with Afterlight haven't been my cup of tea so in addition to that I've kind of I mean I, I don't want to miss one and I know that you can skip one but I don't really want to miss one my thinking is, is that I don't like the book I could just unhaul it and donate it or whatever however it's starting to get a little bit annoying because some of the books the themes are the same and it's like not for me they'll be for someone else and that's perfectly fine everyone's got different reading tastes not everyone likes the same thing and that's totally okay but for my own personal tastes it's kind of not going in the direction i want it to go in at the minute so we will see what this book is like so we're gonna go into the afterlight box first because it should be the quicker one it's the romance one so yeah this is what the box looks like as i said last time i didn't get this one so i'm happy i got it this time and here we go. So we've got Afterlight, Ellen Crane Prince, Afterlight, November 2023. Featured book, Second Chances in Newport Stephen by TJ Alexander. And we're in the middle of November and we've got palm trees and flamingos. It's not summer. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'm being irrational because I just opened really good fairy loop boxes maybe it's just me maybe i'm the problem but, but we'll see anyway so we've got you have bewitched me your body and soul oh this looks like one of those book cover things for um your book obviously this is what it looks like and you've got a little button there and there's that on there and there's the back and like i say you just put the covers of the book in there and it's just to protect the outside of the book really it's great for if you are on the go taking your book somewhere or if you're outside just to give it that little bit extra protection you might not want to ruin your cover and stuff like that so this gives it that kind of durability so on top of that we've also got we've got the letter from the author which i just come across here and then we've got the modern romance bookcase i think that's the only box one thousand piece jigsaw puzzle i love jigsaws <laughs> so this is it and it's quite hefty i love the container that it's in makes it really easy to store so that is all of the jigsaw pieces there and that is what i presume we end up doing we end up putting together i love that there's like loads of cats in here that's my favorite part about this so we've got a puzzle there and then we've got our book which is tiny which again romance books tend to be a lot smaller because the plot is the romance so we've got second chances in newport stephen by tj alexander there is front there and there is the back of the book there as well and then we've got the spine which has a flamingo on it obviously we've got sprayed edges which are really nice I like the sprayed edges and then we don't have there's no custom end pages And then we've got some foiled stuff on the front as well, which is cute. 
really like that. So yeah, it's signed as well. So we've just got the sign in there. Let's see what this one is about. Ellie Ward hasn't been back to his second hometown of Newport Stephen Field in ages. Post transition to the sofa, he's a completely different person from the one who left years ago. But when a scandal threatens his career as a TV writer and comedian, he has no choice but to return home for the holidays. He can only hope he'll survive his boisterous, loving, but often misguided family and hide the fact that his dream of comedy success has become a nightmare. Just when he thinks his trip couldn't get any worse, Ellie bumps into his high school ex, Nick Wu, who's somehow hotter than ever. Divorced and in his 40s, Nick's world revolved around his father, his daughter, and his drug. But even a busy life can't help him from being intrigued by the reappearance of Ellie. Against the backdrop of one weird Floridian Christmas, the two must decide whether to leave the past in the past or move on together. So there we go. So that is the um, romance book that we uh, get in the afterlife on 4 November. So now I'm just going to go straight on to our Loom Crate one. Let's crack on. So November 2023, Anti Hero, which is the theme for this month. December's theme is In the Stars. The heavens watch on as empires rise and cities fall. For fate is foretold in the stars. That sounds like a really good theme, actually, a theme that I'm gonna like. So let's get rid of all of the rubbish. Chuck that over there. So the first thing we've got is, oh, actually, I did know we were gonna get this. I didn't know it was what it was gonna look like, but I didn't know we were gonna get this. Aluma Crate exclusive mug. Intermission. That is what the front of the box is, and we got a mug. So the last one we got was Priory of the Orange Tree, and this time it's very space themed. I love it. So this is the Rise and Fall of Sanctuary Moon. I can only guess that is a book, so I am gonna look because I don't recognise it because I feel like sometimes I don't know anything. <laughs> Intermission mug. Our next mug features our favourite misanthropy. Do I say that wrong? I, I, I do, I know. Sec unit from the Murder Bot Diaries. Never heard of that in my life. But love the mug. Really cool mug. And um, I really like these mugs anyway because they're like proper collector pieces in my opinion. After that, we have this hanging ornament. Ooh, this is cute. So this came in just like a little envelope. And we've got this hanging ornament, which is adorable. Looks like it's got like a little, is that supposed to be a dog on it? Oh, I will break it before I even use it. So here we go, so we've got dog bone ornament. Adorn your shelves or your tree with this delightful ornament featuring the best bone dog from Nettle and Bone. That's really cute. I think I will have to put that in the on the tree in the bedroom because otherwise I don't know where I'll put it. But yeah, really, really cute, love that. And then the next item we've got is this interesting little wrapper. You know, I think it's a bag, but I don't know. Like this is it, this is the design, which is really, really pretty and it's got these big durable handles as well. Night market foldable bag, an incredibly useful item. This foldable bag with a design inspired by the Stardust Thief is great for any shopping trips. Indeed. Now that I've taken it out, I'm gonna have fun trying to get it back in. That's the best I'm gonna do with that, unfortunately. Moving on from the bag to the next item. We've got some more bookends. So it says one flesh, one end. And there you go. That's what they look like. So we get two of those. And they've got like little textures on the bottom. But they're really nice. I like them with the skulls on. And we need to know where they're from, don't we? We do. Locked tomb bookends. In case your books in the locked tomb with these bookends, inspired by Gideon the Ninth. You know what? I was in Wallstones the other day and I picked up Gideon the Ninth and I put it back down. I didn't buy it. In fact, I didn't buy anything because it's Christmas. <laughs> so that is everything in the box. That's all the goodies that we've got. Let me just double check that that was correct. Yeah. Yeah, so that was everything. Right, amazing. Onto the book. And let's see what we got. So I'm thinking, judging by everything that we've got, I'm judging, I'm, I'm thinking it's something kind of um, possibly set in space because we've got two different, no, we only had one space thing, didn't we? I'm not too sure then. It's got to be something kind of death related because we've got the skulls on here and we've also got the bone thing on here. So maybe we've got 
there's a correlation between those but we'll have to see so the book is voila starling house by alex e harrow so there we go we've got starling house by alex e harrow and it comes with this this gorgeous clear i don't own a book like this so i'm just this gorgeous clear dust jacket on there which is stunning so yeah that's the front of the book and then we've got the button there and then the back of the book there as well for you we've got some key there and stuff like that with some birds and then it's just plain on the top and then we do have some end page art so we've got some there and then we also have oh i think it's the same on the back there i'm in love with the idea of plastic dust jackets and i know i shouldn't condone the use of plastic goodness me no but i love it i do <laughs> have a look is this signed oh this isn't signed oh it's got a printed signature but it's not signed sort of in the traditional sense it's about 300 pages just under 300 pages so it, it's not a huge read and i'm just going to tell you all what it's about so the starling house if you dare nobody in eden remembers when starling house was built the town agrees it's best to let that this ill-omened mansion and its lost lonely air go to hell stories of the house's bad luck like good china have been passed down for generations opal knows better than to mess with haunted houses or brooding men but when an opportunity to work there arises the money might get her brother out of eden starling house is uncanny and full of secrets just like arthur is air it also feels strangely dangerously like something she's never had at home the opal isn't the only one interested in the horrors and the wonders that lie buried beneath it sinister forces converge on eden and opal realizes that if she wants a home she'll have to fight for it even if it involves digging up her family's back and past to achieve a better future she'll have to go down deep down beneath starling house to claw her way back into the light this is so cute i'm really loving the themes of this book and obviously the dust jacket has won it over for me and it, it's going to be a quick easy read which with Swordcatcher being a huge book, I'm more than happy to offset the bigger books with these shorter books. This is the Illumicrate one that we get, and then we also have the Afterlight book here as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!